What's up, everybody? Welcome to this super fun time playthrough of the recently released Bloodborne DLC, The Old Hunters. Um, to start this off here, gonna be showing you how to access it if you are unaware how to do that. The first thing you're going to have to do, well, I mean, eventually once you get to it, is you're gonna have to kill Vicar Amelia, turning the world to night, because then this DLC will become accessible. Um, but she's not too hard, won't take you too long to do, I'm sure, right? I mean, you're ready to go into this hellacious DLC, so why not be able to beat Vicar Amelia, right? <laughs> So once you go through and kill Vicar Amelia, you're gonna need to go to the Hunter's Dream where you can get dun, 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 the eye of a blood drunk hunter beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Odin Chapel. Could they have said the word hunter more in such a small little chunk of writing? What was that other glory up there, Connor? Damn you! Oh well, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Uh, I'm doing this post commentary just FYI because this game's a bit of a bitch to actually give good commentary on when you're by yourself and actually trying to play it. Because you fuck your pot. You're either going to give good commentary and bad play, or you're going to give dog shit commentary and still not be at the top of your playing game. I, I should know, however, that for this I did record live commentary. And I'm not saying it was bad, but it wasn't anything great either. So yeah, just go over here, grab the top hat hunter stuff, and uh, this amygdala great one will be kind enough to whisk you away to the hunter's nightmare. <laughs> Yay! Where fun friends are at play all day, er away. Um, so my play will still be dog shit, but this commentary will children. probably be better. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm really hoping it will be. I'll certainly be more focused, and there will be probably less likes and ums than there were in my normal commentary. It was kind of painful listening through. It's like, get to your point, you son of a bitch. Get to your point. It's just not the same smashing all those pots without that one guy there to look at you, because... It, you like to feel like you're crushing a little bit of his soul with every piece of pottery. Am I a monster for thinking that? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Another thing I realized, this is the first time I've actually done anything with post-commentary and uh, watching my video and stuff like that. How big of a pussy I am <laughs> at this. You will see how pensive and cautious I am with this shit. Look at that moon. It looks really pretty in a messed up way. As you can find out when I'll eventually show the description to that blood drunk hunter's eye, that is actually what a beast's eye looks like. So somebody who's like a far enough long beast is what that moon looks like. All that crunched in kind of eye look. Very pretty. Got okay, so here's a new fellow with a neat looking weapon. Uh, an old hunter, as you may guess. I am figuring out here that they are not ones to play patty cake with. Uh, you just want to get in there and finish them off. Especially if you're a cool guy and are using Ludwig's Holy Blade. Which, you know, obviously I am. Because it's the best weapon in the game. And if you disagree with that, you're wrong. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're just wrong. Not too much going on up here, much like in the normal non-nightmare version of Bloodborne. This gate is inaccessible from this side, so uh, kinda have to go around to the other side, which I'll eventually figure out, maybe, one day. Mm hmm, no, mm -hmm. gonna, gonna figure it out, buddy? Gonna leave this alone, are ya? Are ya? Come on, Connor, I believe in you. I believe in you. What? Why, why are you, why are you in your clothing? What, are you going to put on a hat? How do you think a hat's going to help you? You damned it fool! Oh, right. Old hunter cap with wide brim that hides their sharp gaze. In the old days, when hunters were ten a penny, this was part of their standard garb. I guess I was just showing that, you know. Just give you a little bit of lore, do a little bit of comparison here. The old hunter stuff is pretty much 
stat wise very close to the regular hunter stuff you're comparing the wrong things now connor what's wrong with you what's wrong with you finally figured it out but what i haven't figured out yet i can't get through this gate on that on this side mm. it's another thing worth noting that yeah there we go i figured it out eventually i put on a new hat too that I am going through this completely blind. I have seen the only videos and stuff that I've watched are on parts I've already gone through, but uh, I'm not, I have no idea. This is all new to me. The hunters will attack these beasts and some of these beasts, not all of them, but some of them will like not attack you. They'll like lunge at you and kind of try to be menacing, but they won't actually attack you, which is kind of neat. And these hunters are big fans of shooting. I just, you know, I prefer to wield with both hands and therefore never really use a gun. I have a Evelyn and it's almost, it's, it's plus nine, because what was I gonna do, drop a fucking blood rock on that? I mean, come on. You get one of those a playthrough, man. I'm gonna use it on gun? Shit, how are you crazy? Trying to find a hidden door, but of course, illusory walls really don't exist in Bloodborne, but I hold out hope. There is an item I missed down there. I know, guys. I swear I know. I will get it eventually. There's a few items that I missed, but I will go back for. I, I, I promise. And I'll even show most of them on video. I, I say most because I... I'm gonna be straight up with you. I hit to stop recording at some really bad times in here. Like, some neat stuff happens almost immediately after I stop the recording. Uh, not weird, greasy, blood-covered dogs, though. That that happens on camera. Oh, come on. Come on, me. You gonna take that from the dog? Come on. Come on. I saw that I missed another item. Come on, go get it. Go get it, Connor. No. Stop staring at the dog body. So there will be some moments like this because for the first five parts, I think I did live commentary with. So there's gonna be some odd pauses. That was me talking during, but like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the majority of my commentary actually during the plays because this is hard to do live commentary on by yourself, man. Like, maybe I could add in a quip once in a while, but then this asshole is going to come in with his old hunter bone. For a second there, I thought I uh, hit those guys down there, and I thought I was a really cool guy, but then no, uh, it was just it was just that hunter with his cool, like, chain blade. There, uh, they must be some real big fans of Ivy from Soul Calibur, because... There are a lot of chain blade weapons, it seems, in uh, this here world of Bloodborne. I mean, how could you not be fans of Ivy? I, I don't really care about the, the chain sword per se, but there's two very, her big jiggly heart and personality are really the reasons I love Ivy and her tight grip on her moral center and her willingness to be a good person are all the reasons I like Ivy. Yep. <sighs> That's a fucking great game. I haven't played a Soul Calibur game in forever, but uh, that was the shit once upon a time. And now I'm going to take a dog from behind. Hmm. I've had prouder moments in my life, I'll admit. I, I thought this was like an old timey camera and I was confused, but not as confused as to why that guy was just attacking a wall. He was not a fan of those rocks. I couldn't tell you why. Same reason I couldn't tell you why I backed off of them there and getting shot. With those guys, play aggressive. They're pretty darn easy to dodge, just like a lot of enemies in Bloodborne. Getting around behind them is the key. There are no illusory walls. <laughs> Stop. You're driving me nuts, guy. But uh, yeah, so this is, I think I saw something where uh, this was a something like this was originally intended to be two DLCs and they kind of got rolled into one because they fit together. 
So that's cool, and it is a very uh, girthy DLC, I suppose you could say. You get quite a decent amount of bang for your buff. Although I think it, is it, it's 10 or 15 bucks, I don't know. Either way, I felt, I feel it's a worthwhile amount because it's cool. And then there's this dude with his freaking explosive concussion hammer of awesomeness. Just brutally murdering as I brutally miss. Oh -ha! I saved your life, beast. Okay, well, I I guess I went to end it. I looking back on it now, I should have just let him live. I don't think he would have hurt me. Like I said, a lot of those beasts will actually just stand there and cower away from you. Because, you know, hunters are ten a penny. So they pretty much have some even numbers with beasts at this time, so beasts are just scurred. The scared scourge of beasts. Oh no. Ah, uh, yes. Exploring through the graveyard. What what fun days these are. Oh, there are some more beasts that probably won't hurt me, but I'm going to go and brutally murder. Mmm. Mmm. I just... Ah, oh, they weren't even doing anything. I am a monster, truly. Truly, <laughs> without any doubt, I am a monster. It's, it's just like... Uh, the police and military in King Kong. They're the real monster. You know, King Kong was just, you know, a big gorilla. Whew, yeah. Twas beauty that killed the beast. And uh, airplanes and machine guns and shit. That, that too. That, that helped. But mostly beauty. Mostly beauty. I don't think I could ever be a hunter. Just looking at the coat right now, covered in that much blood. That'd be so sticky. Like, I, I, I hate being sticky. It's one of those worst, nasty feelings. Is just It doesn't really matter what you're sticky with. Just being sticky is not fun. And can you imagine the smell? My god. Like, it'd be really hard to fight monsters when I'm constantly gagging. <laughs> just, hey, okay, foul beasts of the night. Let us do... Hold oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Battle! It uh, j just wouldn't work out well for me. I do not handle a lot of gross stuff very well, and I'm okay with that. Not that I can't, I've had to, but uh, I really prefer not to. Anger, maybe. Maybe anger could get me through my weak, my normally weak constitution. It's what it's normally done before. If you've uh, ever had to clean up someone else's feekies, you know what I'm talking about. The feek! Come on, go up there, you bitch. All right, so here's a good old trap. They're gonna try to Indiana Jones you, huh? Those beasts up there will actually attack you, just fair warning. They're, for whatever reason, not non-hostile like the other ones. Sorry about the pause there. I was just making sure that sounded right in my head, because it sounded odd. Yes, heal on up. Mmm, put the phantasm shell on, because now there's two what I think is hunters, but those are actually just like Yarnamites. So, they're no big deal. Especially compared to what's behind door number one. Do not charge this door. It's a bad idea. We got fucking Doc Ock Bad Touch Man behind the door with his big ass axe and his tentacled face. He is honestly pretty easy, just like a lot of those uh, large enemies in the game. I just have no idea what he's gonna do here. And he has just powered his weapon up and it kind of has a sonic boom on it now, as you can see. So when it's not even actually hitting you, it totally hits you. And it does a ton of damage. But I honestly, uh, a horrible, horrible showing on my part. Just god awful. But uh, yeah, well, hey, I hope you enjoyed that first part and uh, tune in for the next part. See you lovelies. Bye-bye.
fucking burning. I'm melting. I'm knocked to the fucking ground. I got a camera rammed up my ass. Getting a fucking colonoscopy for a flaming dog. What the fuck? No. Ugh. Just die. Just fucking die, man. Just fucking die. Oh, nice fucking miss, nerd. What up? Fuck. 